What's up, Legends? This is Buzzsaw, and welcome back to my Ultimate Fallout 3 walkthrough, and this is going to be episode number four of this fairly new series of mine. And in the last episode, we arrived here in Megaton, and we actually solved a major problem, and we actually disarmed the bomb that is in the center of town. Basically, when we first got here, we met a man named Mr. Burke, and he actually wanted us to... Uh, to detonate the bomb and actually blow Megaton off the face of the earth, but we didn't really like that idea and we want to go with the good karma route on this character, so we talked to Lucas Sims, who is the sheriff of Megaton, and we went to go apprehend Mr. Burke, and we shot him dead, and we saved Megaton, we disarmed the bomb, and so we were given that brand new house that we were just in. It's pretty much a shack, but... It'll do for the time being. We can store our gear in there. We can do anything we want in there. So basically, we're going to head over to the saloon again and talk to a, na a man named Colin Morardi. Morardi. I can't even say his goddamn name. But anyways, we're going to talk to Colin and see what he has to say. Because this has to do with the main quest of the game. And it is very important Colin that we Moriarty, talk to him. At your service. Welcome to Moriarty. My saloon, my home. My slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. I'm looking for my father, a middle-aged guy. Oh Maybe God, you know him. It's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? So apparently this guy knows our father and knew our father for a very long time. Oh, and he actually... Funeral. Looks like he passed through here, so he was by Megaton. He was in, in Megaton recently, but uh, he's gone now. Um, look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? So I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. Well, I know that, but I need his location. I need to know where he is now, right now. A hundred cops, and Daddy's location is yours. Oh, this game is something else. It's always caps. I don't have a hundred caps. I don't want to pay it. All right, kid. And I guess there's nothing else we have to say to each other. Come back to me when you have the caps and we'll talk. I, I'm a little confused here because I remember there being a speech challenge where he would give you the information if you succeed in the speech challenge and you wouldn't have to pay him. What? Oh, no, no, no. I offered a deal for a hundred caps. All right, this guy's really pissing me off now. now Since we declined the first deal of a hundred caps, now he wants to up it to three hundred. I honestly hate this guy. We only need to get the little piece of information out of him, uh, which is our father's location, but he just doesn't want to give it up for free. All right. You don't have the caps, and I guess I don't have the information. This is... This guy is just something else. I really wish I could just shoot him, and I probably should shoot him when I'm done getting the information from them. Anyways, uh, I think it's a good idea to just try to reload here and see if we could get that speech challenge because that would be very, very helpful because uh, I really don't want to pay for that information. That's just a pain in the ass. Um, Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You Basically, he's telling us that our father lied to us, right. which is your father, kind of his brotherhood of steel annoying. Friend. And you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. I honestly I hate this guy. Mom. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Okay, um... Ah, I see. All hail. Kid, you've got better... Alright. Here's the speech challenge that I wanted. 53, I was kidding. Like nice... Oh, it didn't work. Alright, let's just reload. I honestly don't care if you guys think that it's a cheap uh, exploit in the game to do that. I just really want to get through this and really don't want to pay the caps that we earned from Silver, that lady that we murdered in our little townhouse because that would just be... A waste to give up those caps. Did he? And there we go. Finally, we Our got that. Our was brief, but that is the way of it out here. When a bond is forged, little else matters, hmm? Well, he did come through here, but he left. Cut to the chase. 
Give me the location. Come on, Colin. Said he needed information from those lonies at the station. You know, Galaxy News Radio. What there is of it. All right. Finally, we got that information. It was a little bit difficult. Don't let me keep it. But that's all we needed. And we didn't have to pay him. That's good. Oh, what is she? I don't recognize you. Lucy West. New I know what this is. This this actually opens another quest, which I hope by something would be to do, you good for job. us. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Sure. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I think that it would be a good idea to just get the all the quests that we can up on our pit boy so that we could just keep doing them. We could go to the next one after we're done with one and it would just cover more ground that way if we just got them all up at the same time. So Blood Ties is a new quest that we got. And I guess we're delivering a message for this lady named Lucy, this girl, whatever. Lady, girl, I don't doesn't really matter. Okay. Alright. Hey, Peace out. Doing this for me. Lucy. Alright, what I wanted to do before we go to Galaxy News Radio is I want to check out the um the supply shop. I forget what it's called, but I'll remember it in a second when we look at it. Um Crater Side Supply, there we go. So in here is a supply shop. We could buy weapons, we could buy ammo, we could buy clothes, we could pretty much buy anything. And we could also decorate our house, our little Megaton house that we have. Uh, hey, I hear you're from this lady. From the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly Moira is just way too happy. She is way too happy of a person. Working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have But uh, here comes another quest. Help me out, would you? Another intro to a quest. Sure, I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life or or to come outside for the first time or whatever strikes your fancy. Okay. It was paradise down here. No fear. Down there, no fear, no worries, no fighting until dad left. <laughs> um, it was cramped, dark, and the food sucked. That's a good one. But I pretty well, much, that that's pretty much the truth. Great. I think you're gonna like it out here. And here's the armored suit. Just to make sure you don't get recycled into something else's food. That'll be good for the book. In fact... Want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit added. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. That wouldn't be good. No, then they just yell a lot. As long that as we get out alive from this, I'll do it. Sounds like a great idea. Good enthusiasm. You gotta always yeah, give a little enthusiasm. Will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Oh, it all sounds so fun, but getting food doesn't well, sound too bad. And medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need I'm just a good place here to putting my life on the line for this lady, but super duper mart not far from here. That's what the and game is about. Like that, we're gonna do it. Food or medicine and we're gonna it. take a walk to Super Duper Mart. Oh great. What a great name. Food is most important. See if you can get medicine too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? All right. I have to go now. Come back soon. So we got another quest, Wasteland Survival Guide. All right. So here is the Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit that increases small guns and energy weapons by 5. So it adds a little bonus to it and it um it sustains itself a little bit better than the regular jumpsuits and regular stuff since it's armored 
So let's take a walk up to Super Duper Mart. I can tell that from here on out, you're going to see a lot more combat than uh, than we have been seeing. We haven't really been seeing too much action in this game so far. It's been kind of slow for the first couple of parts, but here's where it's going to start to pick up, and you're going to see that in a couple of minutes. As soon as we arrive at Super Duper Mart, you're going to see some combat, and you're going to see a lot of awesome things. It's going to be a lot of fun. I know that I said that we were going to go over to Galaxy News Radio, but I would like to take care of this little part in the Wasteland Survival Guide since we can get some ammo this way by fighting off whatever is in the Super Duper Mart because I know for sure that there are enemies in there. It would just be nice to gather some ammo and stuff. What do we have over here? We have a little enemy of some kind. Oh, it's a boat fly. I hate these things. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Come on. Die. Oh my god. I can't believe I missed that many bullets on it. I should have just aimed in a little bit more, but I le legitimately just missed like six bullets trying to kill that thing when it should really only take one bullet since that thing is really weak. There's the Washington Monument in the distance. We'll be there in a couple of episodes, don't you worry. It's very quiet out here. There's nothing around. Just very ominous. But up here is the Super Duper Mart. We better get our pistol out to be ready for anything, basically, because you just really never know with this game. I'm really hoping that we actually find some enemies so we could get some action in this episode, because that would just be a waste to get all the way over here and have nothing to do and no enemies to kill. Ah, uh, Nuka-Cola. Nuka-Cola is always good. Wastelander. Most people oh, it's a ghoul. Ghouls. It's a ghoul wastelander. I don't have time to deal with this. Then Lee, we'll do just fine without you. I would love to just kill him, but that's not really too nice. Lead pipe. 32 pistol and some ammo. Chinese pistol and some ammo. All right, so let's head inside. Let's see what we're about to face. All right, it's a little dark in here. Oh, here we go. There is a raider up there on the shelves walking around. Let's uh, check out these cash registers here because I remember that there is sometimes some bottle caps in these registers. It's always nice to find some loose bottle caps in this game. Uh, bobby pin? Well, those help. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Die. Die. I didn't remember. I didn't think that anybody would come from our left, but uh, that's a first. Oh, uh, shopping carts are making a lot of noise. Oh. 32 pistol. Let's take a reload. Oh boy. Let's use our vats here. Raiders down. Oh shit. I think that was a shotgun in the back of the counter over there. Oh, I think that's actually a hunting rifle instead. Oh man. Oh no. We're getting surrounded now. Oh, uh, vats. Vats the baseball bitch. Bye. Oh, your head's going flying. Oh, boy. We're already down to health, half health. It's not good. Oh, shit. Oh, man, that... Whoever has the hunting rifle behind the counter actually has a pretty good shot on me. He's dead. What do we got? 32 pistol again. Oh, here we go. Let's, let's kill her. Let's kill the hunting rifle. Biatch. There we go. Hunting rifle. It's uh, basically an unscoped sniper rifle, if you want to say that. You can say it's an unscoped Springfield if you if you want. That works. What do we got here? We got some 556 rounds. We got 
some books. We got some frag mines, some 10 millimeter rounds. Um, steam gauge assembly. I'm not gonna pick that up. Ammunition, 10 millimeter. And it looks like we need a lockpick of 25 to get in there. And a science skill of 25 to get in that terminal, too. Our skills are pretty low at this point, so we can't really... Can't really be... We're not really too talented enough to be opening those. Um, let's see. Super duper pharmacy key. That's what we need. Good. Okay. Bottle cap mine. Sensor module. More ammo, 10 millimeter. Some frag grenades. Another bottle cap mine. And an ammunition box we can open. Great. We really need to get those lockpicks and science skills up if we want to keep going in this game. All right, so we are in the pharmacy. So let's see what we can loot here. Uh, we got some. There's our medication, medicine, whatever, whatever you want to call it, for Megaton. Office employee ID. More ammo, 556. 556. And 556. Oh, look at this. We got some Nuka Cola Quantums. These are basically really rare in the game. Uh, there's only like 50 in the entire game. And I believe that there is a quest that is towards the end of the game that we'll do that we actually have to collect 30 of them and bring them back to a specific location. So, uh, yeah. Do we have anything else interesting in here? No. Basically, what we can do is get inside this terminal here and try to get this little robot out. Basically, if we unlock it here, uh, we could get a little security robot out into the Super Duper Mart. I am, I swear, I'm never good at these. Never figuring out what the word is here. Hates. Tests. Now, we're gonna get locked out. I have no idea how long this is gonna take. This might take quite a few minutes, but cause. Early. Uh, no, I don't like that. Wakes. Caves. Dared. Come on, we're not we're not even getting close. We're only getting two of the five letters here. This isn't good. What is up with this? Every single time we choose something, we only get one out of five. Ah, oh, today is not our day for this. Come on, come on, let's let's rest. Beats. Wants. What is up with this? Come on. We're not even getting close. We're not even getting half of the letters. Notes. Gates. Cares. Alright. You know what? Forget this. Forget it. I, I'm just gonna keep going because all that thing does is it brings out a robot that, uh, Oh, we got more company. Basically, all that does is it bring out a, it brings out a robot that basically roams around the Super Duper Mart. It doesn't really do anything to help us. It's not really anything special. Let's just forget about it because we're wasting too much time. Oh, that was a one-shot. Nice. Uh-oh. More raiders. One-shot headshot. Hell yeah. Oh boy, we're still getting shot at here. Oh, baseball bat. Think you're tough? I got a pistol and three bullets going in your head. And I don't know why you're not dead yet. Come on, come on. Oh my god, why am I missing so much? Okay, alright. That was bad. Oh, Jesus. How many of them are there in here? All right, another Chinese pistol. I think that's uh, I think that's all the raiders in here. Over here, I believe, is the food. Oh, look at this. We got a laser pistol and some stim packs. 
Another laser pistol. Alright, let's try our lock picking for the first time. Alright, not too bad. Some energy cells, that's good for our laser pistol. Alright, I think that's pretty much everything on the counters. Yeah, so let's head over here to the food storage and grab all the food for Moira from Megaton. And I think that's everything that we need in here, so let's head back. That wasn't too bad, and that was pretty good since we got to see some combat finally. Alright. So let's uh, take a fast travel to... Megaton. Actually, I think it would be a good idea to end this episode right here since we're running up on 21 minutes. And so I think I'm just going to leave our trip back to Megaton for the next episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for your support on the series to the people that have been watching every episode to this point. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Leave your feedback in the comments below, positive or negative feedback. It really helps me. Uh, regardless, any feedback is good feedback. So, yeah, um, I will talk to you guys soon and expect episode number five very, very soon. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.